All right, watching the 6E. Need a rock star. There it is. Bought the 6E. All right, hanging in there with it. I'm not moving sideways, so I'm not adjusting my stop yet. Nice. Oh, you got it when it backed up a little bit. Very nice, both of you. Good job. Here we go, plus five. Then we go back and, uh, nice. We'll go back and look at this 6C. Notice that we have the momentum, the dark bar, the old soul condition our speed tick, which gives us a, a bit of a head up, heads up that this bar is being manipulated. We also have our pullback alert. We have our low of the day. And then on the open of this bar, we had our rock star. It backed up a little bit, so several of us got a better fill. And then we got the took off and we got our plus five. Now, whatever happens after this, we don't really care. We anticipate something that looks like this, right? And then it just keeps dropping. We don't know that's gonna happen, but we do know that this is very likely to happen right here. Beyond this, we really don't know. There's a rock star on the uh, in Q. Now, it was not a naked rock star on the NQ. We had this low of the day. All right, watching the YM. All right, I did short the YM and plus five. <laughs> Pushing up that high of the day, overbought. So that would qualify even as a naked rock star, but it was not naked. We had the high of the day behind it outside of our Negative rock star zone. Right, I'm watching the YM. Get a rock star like that. Short of the YM. Tag plus five. Didn't fill. There we go. Plus five. Have another rock star on there, so I shorted the YM again. Covering it plus four and plus five. Nice momentum. Pushing up that high of the day. Also, that was what? That was just outside that naked rock star zone, but didn't need it to be because we did have the high of the day behind it. Overbought. First threshold speed tick being the white speed tick. Two quickies. Got a uh, naked rock star on the NQ. Almost before I could say anything, it was a plus five. I put the trade on and looked at the chart and then looked back at the dome and it was gone. I'm like, oh God, what happened? <laughs> this is our naked rock star. Look how hard it's dropping here. Look how strong the potential for exhaustion is. Got dark bars, got oversold. Got uh, a pullback alert here and a speed tick here, open of this bar, and a rock star. Now, this is ideally you'd want to get in here, but what happened here on this one is immediately when it opened, it dropped. So by the time I got on it, it, uh, it was down here, and so it didn't have far to go before I got my plus five. Maybe you're on this one. Same thing. This bar oversold. Now, this is a good naked rock star because see, this is outside of our arrows. Inside here, between these arrows, we're not going to take this trade. Outside, we're going to. This is saying that there's, uh, that it's broken outside of um, the zone, which, which uh, 
is more like an oversold kind of condition. So we got two winning rock stars, one right after the other. Or naked rock stars. We call those naked because there's no support or resistance behind them. All right, so we got another rock star on the 6E. Got a decent fill when it backed up a little bit. Now that's a naked rock star. Naked because it had no support line behind it. It'd be a regular rock star if this line was behind it right here. But without that line, it's a naked rock star. And it qualifies because it was oversold, had a pullback alert, and then uh, rock star. And it's outside of these arrows. And I got the plus four. Didn't quite get the plus five. All right, plus five. You have a potential speed tick set up here on the 6E. It could also be a rock star. Depends on where the open of the bar is, but if a rock star prints there, then it'll be a rock star setup. All right, it was just a straight up speed tick trade. I sold it. Plus five. It's pretty much. Uh, Exactly what I showed you over the weekend and on Thursday. We have our mo meter, right? It goes from black to dark gray, light gray to white. We have our major line of resistance. We have our speed tick. We have an overbought condition. We even had a nice little pullback alert as a bonus, suggesting that at the open of this bar, all of these suggested that the conditions are just right for people to be taking profits here, people to be getting stopped out here, and, it and that causing price to pull back at least a little bit. All right, we don't know how far. That's why we have a hard target. We're not looking for full-on reversals. We're looking for that area where people are suddenly reacting to that strong move in price and they want to take profits or they want to jump out because it's going against them too fast. Either way, it causes the same thing. <clears throat> Watching the CEO again. We're pushing up the high of the day, so we've got to have a rock star on the open in the next bar. Like that. I shorted the CL. Plus five. Gonna push up. Speed tick. Overbought. Ricochet. Pullback alert. Bar opens. With a uh, rock star. And high of the day, we were also outside of our Rockstar zone. So you put on a short here. It backed up a little bit, so I think people got a little bit better. Um, this was actually put on a short here. It backed up, and several traders got it up in here. And then down it went for a plus five. I'm going to short this right here. I'm not really trying on the YM. Uh, to generate a huge uh, win for the day. I just want to be con a consistent winner. Plus five. <coughs> Sorry. I got sick over the weekend. It was all congested. Nice push up. Speed tick. Overbought. Open of the next bar. Rockstar. Drop, in, out, done. Whatever happens now, don't care. All right, so we're getting a, a pretty nice straight up push on this YM. And we have a speed tick. That's a nice momentum, but I don't have one of the two things to help me qualify 
um, a uh, Rockstar if it opens. I need a overbought or I need a pullback alert. So we do have a Rockstar, but I'm not trading it because I did not have one of the two things required for me. And those two things help me to understand that the, there's a stronger potential of exhaustion setting in. So you see like right here, you see this is overbought and then you see the pullback alert. And this, so this is a stronger potential for exhaustion here than here where I did not have an overbought condition. I did not have a pullback alert. So I didn't have enough confluence to confirm that as a valid setup.